This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Douglas? Where the hell are they? Drug, drug store, is it? Look! Hey there! Oh, don't! Oh my friendly? God, you idiot! Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Uh oh. Ain't coming in, yo. Metal always helps. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Whoa. I don't know who these people Any are. Woman. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come yeah, here boy. And swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got Hold kids, girl. Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Harley and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Wasn't bitten. Hell, he yeah, wasn't. He's not bitten. What are we you talking about? Why now? are all women so Over aggressive in life? Body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? How about the boy we talks if he got bitten? Happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Penny, stop him. Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. Your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily. What do you mean to the side of Kenny? Shut the Just fuck up. Chose the they will find thing. us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. Oh, shit, did it, that. Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the so guy are who we, bro. chilling a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then. When she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your this little boy. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl yeah. I'm trying to protect it here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You oh. better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <sighs> oh, 
Oh hell no! Run! Get the hell up, yo! Come on! Save my life. Uh, guys, everybody down. Stay quiet. Uh oh. They're gonna get in. Shut up. What the that hell is happening? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, oh. Dad! Ah, ah, ah. That is wrong. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills? Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Yeah, we'll do it somehow. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for oh, anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown naked. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't leak it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you That's keep an right. eye on I'll the front find door. It, bro. You're our lookout. Don't you worry. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. Carly, I like you. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get oh, him that those pills. That escalated fast. Came the boss. Just like, comes in. It's the old place. Awesome. Hmm. Central High Tech State. Papers where we go. Feels like years. What are you doing? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Hmm. Volume? Woman, you never know. I'm just kidding around, guys. Don't jump on nothing. Oh, yeah, just turn around. Right, please. The genius. No batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. <laughs> I can try to find some. Beats too. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I'm try to find some. What is there? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Ducky? Really? Oh, I gotta see. Oh, we got a chocolate. And here's the door. Can we get in there? Is 
Oh yeah, we did. Uh oh. Someone went to bed there. I can't. I can't think about them in here. Oh, ooh, what? What's the zoom on? Photo. Oh shit! That was his parents. Oh my god. Find anything? Oh, it was too late again. Let me have a look. I don't know about that. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No. Yeah. Sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and yeah. look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're Trust a detriment me a bit, to the group, to then we'd have a problem. I hear you. Don't you worry. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Yeah, do I trust her? She saved my life twice. Surely I do trust her. I don't know if she heard it. There's the door. This door leads to the back alley. Hmm. Oh, we took the photo. Now what? Now what are we supposed to do? Hey, we can move this. Good to help, you know. What's that? That's Kane. He zipped around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this Kane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. Oh. See, dads are smart like that. Now, why does she stand there like a little statue? Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure you can. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. <laughs> but no, I think it'll be okay. No, not actually. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. 
one thing he wants to talk about it. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Yeah. Why? It just is. Just but the way it you is. love them, right? Yeah, of course. Of course I do. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's get this done. Well, at least if you trust me. It is good. Ow! Oh. Shit. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. Find you a bandage. It's a diker. I'm guessing, yeah, that's what you're using it for. Bandage. Hmm. Let's do it where. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It no. hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Can I got you a bandage. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. There you go. All done and sorted out. Lee? Yeah. Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Hopefully they won't. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Worry, kid. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Good. Uh, saw something here. There we go. Nothing. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Yeah. He's there, so let's turn it on. That's what I figured. So why did you say the remote if you already figured out? Just... Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Okay, let's get to business and open the door. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Okay guys, so let's get out. It's not in this room. We're walking around for hours. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I uh why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Nah, he wasn't. No. Oh, was he bad? He was. Now let's get up if I kill you also, talking about that guy so many times. Hmm. Oh, he's there. Hey, with a chocolate. Okay, give it to her. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, child. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Oh, damn. 
We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Uh oh, someone's in this trouble. Until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor and get Glenn and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Nothing. Oh. Yeah. Stop food. It's not damaged. Uh, this place didn't get looted. No, it didn't. I'm gonna grab some money or buy something other from the zombies. She's still trying. There's no batteries, you smart ass. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. You can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, okay. Sure. sure. Let's go have a look around. Let's cool. See and how we'll keep it down. Ourselves. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Hmm. Jesus. Door. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Oh my god, it's in some this in the Brother, shit. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just yeah. need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Uh, That's sad. You know what, before we do it, we might as well just do it. I was thinking, let's go get Glenn. Think you can do anything with this? Mm. You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Oh, badass. Yo, look at his thumb. <laughs> I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Damn. Get this damn break. Open sesame. <laughs> That's it. That's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. 
Let's get back in. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Hmm. We need to have break somehow. Let's head back inside. Okay. Let's go save the poor guy. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> you seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. I'm still looking for batteries for that day. Thanks. I appreciate it. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Earlier. Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are going to be, I suppose. It's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Okay, let's head You ready out. to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go.